Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Mustafa Ahmed, and you're watching Tech Log Course from Mabelis Petro. In today's video, we're going to learn how can we calculate uh, total porosity and effective porosity. If you're new here, I highly recommend you to watch Tech Log tutorials from the beginning. I'll leave you the link of these videos in the description. So let's start. Alright, so let's start. The first step is to go to uh, Vitro Physics, then press on uh, Porosity and Saturation. Here you have Porosity. From these tools, you can calculate total porosity, and these tools are used to calculate uh, effective porosity. Uh, I'll start with density, uh, so it means I will take the bulk density uh, curve and calculate the porosity from it. Uh, press on it and I will work on the second wheel so I'll select this here I need three curves to calculate uh, total porosity the first one is the bulk density and this curve is ropey so select, select it from here and then press on here the second one is resistivity and resistivity it means deep resistivity so I have this curve the name of deep resistivity in my well here is RES, so I will select it. Uh, formation temperature is uh, should be calculated, so I've calculated this value before in a previous video. So before you get in here, you have to calculate uh, this value, uh, and I will leave the link of calculating uh, formation temperature in the description. So watch it, then come back here. So I have to select temperature curve. All right. So here, press on create. This window will pop up, and you have to put right here the database. So here, I will drop the database right here. But you have to notice that if you drop the well with the zones, it will be like this. And that means you will have double number of uh, zones. So if you have two zones, it will be four. And if you have three, it will be six. So to solve this problem, first thing, delete them. And you have to drop only the database like this. Uh, here zonation so you have to put the zones go to zonation from dock window then display the zones right click and copy the zones come right here and insert zones from uh, zonation dock window as you can see here these are the zones so here I'm going to edit these parameters I have Robbie matrix right here and uh, Robbie fluid so uh, raw matrix but before that let me show you the equation that uh, it will be used right here uh, this is the equation so we have raw matrix minus raw bulk uh, this is uh, the density of matrix and this is the density of the log density of matrix and density of fluid uh, because I know that this will drill with salt water so I have to take its value it's not one this is one for fresh water uh, the density of uh, salt water is right here 1.09 so I have to put it right here uh, 
and here we have to put the density of matrix uh, and to know this value I have explained that in the previous video but I'll do it again here drop the mpy on x-axis and draw b on the y-axis and from charts so like this now it's clear that we have limestone because the point on this blue line so we're going to select them as you can see the density of uh, limestone is 2.71 so I'm going to put it right here 2.71 all right so let me display them So this is the final curve and it's automatically saved right here phi total uh, density so this is the phi total and now I'm going to show you how can we calculate uh, the effective porosity to calculate the effective porosity with the same steps go to vitrophysics then press on porosity and saturation porosity and here from effective porosity press on density the only difference right here is that we have shell volume uh, because it will calculate the effective porosity so we're going to select the second well bulk density or B and the deep resistive deformation temperature and here we're going to put uh, the, the shell volume Alright, so here press on create and here drop your database and copy the zones from donation doc window. I insert it right here. And it will have the same parameters. Uh, the density of matrix is 2.71 and the density of load is 1.09. Here we have to know the shell density. Uh, and to know that, uh, you have two choices. The first one is to uh, go to log view and display the uh, V clay right here and the raw B. and you have to read uh, the maximum value of raw B when you have shell formation like here I have shell as you can notice and the maximum value of raw B is 2.69 so this is the first step I'm going to put 2 0.69 I'm going to, to display it and then I'll show you the second way the second way is to edit it from here you can display the V clay right here and we can know where is the maximum value so it's right here because I've already selected all right so this is the phi effective this is the final curve so as you can see here it's already saved right here and you can display it too so this is what I have for today's video thank you for watching and see you in another video